What's up, PNP gang? Gang on, 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 gang. Really? Wow, she been doing too much. But she's alright because we excited right now. Tell them why we're excited right now. Well, first of all, we want to give a special shout out to all of our subscribers. We love y'all so much. Y'all been showing hella love to us. We also want to thank y'all for showing so much love on our last video. Well, one of our last videos, the Don't Rush Challenge. Shout out to all the lovely couples that were a part of that challenge. We really yeah. put that together, y'all. And we just want to say thank you for yeah. inviting us to be a part of the challenge. Um, Because right we now, y'all, it's, it's doing pretty good. It's doing some yeah. numbers. Some and numbers. Um, we're very proud. And yeah. Yeah. We're excited right now. Our channel is you know, doing some of the best numbers we had. So. Oh, I got a big forehead. We just want to say appreciate everybody. We see them comments rolling in. We see the subscribers rolling, rolling, in. rolling in. That means a lot to us. Before we get started, go ahead and subscribe to us right now and um, press that like button. We also want to give out to the label we work with, the music. That's we're, that Moolah Moolah making music. music. Shout out to the label. That's the label, the Triple M, MMM, Princess Leia, D Flow, we're artists. And this is our label that we're part of. So shout out to Moolah making music. And we also want to tell y'all about the music lab. We've been dropping some new music. Um, we have other um, channels other than this one. Um, I got my own channel for D-Flow. She got a Princess Lady channel. And then we also have the Princess and Flow music channel. So we're going to put them in the description below. If you, if you, all the music you see in our videos, that's our music. We're going to be dropping a lot of the music. So y'all go ahead and subscribe to those channels and stay tuned. We just want to give a couple shout outs to everybody on the Instagram. We're doing a Q&A and we put the post up in our store and a lot of people ask some questions. So we're going to go ahead and do a video for y'all. Q&A. We're gonna answer them honestly, and um, yeah. So I love questions. I love this is gonna be fun. <laughs> every time we do, more, every time more, we do a Q and A or something like that, we always do a. I always end up pranking her. She always ends up pranking. Yeah, me. we never got to do our Q and A because so, this fool wanted to prank me. So it's a perfect. Every time, time we try to do a Q and A, he always try to get me with the off guard. I'm like, dang, that was a good video, yeah. man. We never so, got to finish. We actually going. So we gonna finish it this time. We gonna for do this Q and A for real. So um. If y'all like the Q and A, comment below. Let us know. We'll do some more Q and A's. This is actually our first one. This is our first Q and A. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Ooh, all right, so we're gonna jump it. straight into this. Let's get it. Um, all right. So the first one we're gonna um ask is from Rail Sean. So we're gonna shout out everybody who. who we're gonna shout out and yeah. we're gonna put your little name in the little yeah. video. Yeah. Little, yeah. And all that. Mm. So yeah. Yeah. Um, Rail Sean. They said, "Where do you see yourself in the next ten years?" Where do we see ourselves in the next ten years? Um. Well. Aside from YouTube and all this other stuff, we're also business owners. So definitely see a, a big future in our businesses and um, just our relationship, you know, cause we're pretty new, we're pretty fresh in our relationship. So we definitely see some big things. I don't know if we're talking about kids or anything. Oh, oh yeah, we, we talking uh, about all them things. All them <laughs> things. So all of them. Oh my Look, God. I mean, you know, the YouTube, we love doing YouTube. It's fun to us. It's you know really much. It's really she, fun. It was her idea. She got me into it. And we've been, you know, it's probably been, what, like eight months since we started? Well, because I was already a YouTuber. If y'all don't know, I mean, I can't put my, my other channel inside of the description. But I was a YouTuber since 2011. I fell off a little bit. And I felt like, oh, you know, I wanted to find a new love for YouTube. So I was like, let's do a couple channels. So then that's what that was. And I mean, then, at, at first, I didn't want to start. I didn't want to jump didn't into do it. it. I'm mean, just being honest, but then I ended up warming up to it. She cranked me a couple times, and I was like, "All right, I'm gonna get her back." Like, Are you serious? Sure? Get down my feet. <laughs> but anyways, well, my feet, she, cranked me, she cranked me a couple times, and I was I wanted to get her back. And hey, look, we've been going doing prank each other for a minute now. So, but where do I see myself in the next ten years? Let me get back to the question. We got a little. I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> but anyway, um, so look, I, like she said, you know, getting married, having some kids. <laughs> nah, Why but, are you being stupid nah, like but that? For real, like. You know, like she said, we do business and you know, we're all about business. The YouTube thing is just something for us. It's just one of our things we do. Let's just start as many businesses as we can, build, hire people, get people jobs, all that. You know what I'm saying? So, yep. so that's what we're looking to do in the next 10 years for sure. This is just the beginning. It's Definitely just, a lot of growth yeah. within the next 10 we, we, years. We just get, all around. We're we trying to climb Mount, Mount, Everest, Mount Everest, but we we only, you know, on the way up. We're going to get there. That's going to be in 10 years. But all right, so um, same person, Rail Sean. How did you two meet? All right, so we actually have a video on that on our YouTube, but since we're trying to put everything together right now, how we met. So basically, um, <laughs> uh, he was doing a video for one of his songs, and <laughs> 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 why are you so stupid? He was on a video for one of his songs, and then um, 
I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. I'm not even gonna I lie. I mean, it's a long story. It's a really, really like, long story. We'll actually long put a card up top. Story. I'm gonna put a card up Let's top. Let's just put the card in here. Y'all can watch the video. Y'all can watch it. Y'all can watch it. But you can just basically, we was doing a video. It was real professional how we met. We met professional. We met on a professional level. It was through yeah. Instagram and we met some on mutual Instagram, friends. And I was just talking to her, and I was shooting a video. Well, we actually we already been talking before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying we knew each other already. But you know, I hit her up. She was just moving here. And um, you know, I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna shoot this video when it come through. She was she was trying to get those people out here. She was new out here. She's an artist as well. She was well, I wasn't get, technically new get, out here. Well, she wasn't new, but she had just moved back here, I should say. So she was just getting back in the loop of Atlanta, is what I really meant to say. And then you know, um, she came to video the network, and boom, it was all professional for for a minute. It was really professional, and then you know, I watched the video. Yeah, yeah, it's actually a funny story. Yeah. We're gonna he gonna put it in the video. Yeah. It's actually really funny how we met. But yeah, okay. All right, so let's get to the next question. All right, hold on, let me find where we were. All right, so this is from Ian Lowe. Shout out to Ian Lowe. We Ian actually, Lowe! Um, I actually just collabed with a prank. Um, we did a couple of uh, collabs with them thus yeah. far. But we did one today. Yeah, we and they, did one. And, and they dropped it today. So shout out to Ian Lowe. Um, we're going to put their channel below. Y'all make sure you go over there and um, subscribe to them and check out this. Well, when y'all see this video, it'll be yesterday. So, yeah. technically it was yesterday. Exactly. Um, we're going to put this out video. tomorrow. Yeah. All right. So, they said, um, who spends the most money? <laughs> well, I've been doing pretty good at keeping my money. I don't know about him. Um, I think he spends the most money. You know why? Because he buys everything. He, no, 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 no. He, yeah, he buys a lot of food. We buy a lot of food out. Um, it, I mean, I think he spends the most money, but it's an I, expense I, for both of us. Yeah, it's not I, just him. I spend the most money, but I spend it on her. You know, me and her. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like I don't go out and buy myself a lot of stuff. You know, we're going to get there. We're going to be buying everything. But right now, you know, it's pretty, but, but, you know, it's the time. It's the time we in now. At the time we in, nobody's really spending a bunch of money. Nobody's right spending now. a bunch of money right you know now, I mean? but we, we, we do all, find ways to find some food yeah. to spend money on. Food. Oh yeah, you know, and, 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 I, and we been doing cooking. I've been doing a lot of cooking lately. He cooks lately. a lot too, yeah. And I mean, doing really good. At yeah, that too. you know what I'm saying? I'm practicing, practicing. So for my next girl, <laughs> boy, I will knock you out of this video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so Ian Lowe asked two questions. So the other question was, who's more affectionate? I'll let you answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, why you want me to answer it? All right, okay, let's get into this tea. All right, so first of all, I'm okay. All it's all him. He's he's the most affectionate. Um, <laughs> shut up. I I don't know. For me, I just think that I just never really. I mean, I'm not gonna say I just never really. But my upbringing was a little different. Um, I feel like when you're raised a certain way you uh, tend to adapt those same like you know characteristics and for me like my mom was always just hardcore rough edge like she was never like the loving dovey lovey dovey type and i feel like i adapted that from her i was never just like oh baby oh yeah oh just that's just never been me and then again it could just be the leo in me i don't know people say leos are like just to themselves or whatever it's, it's a combination it might be a combination of the two but i just i'm definitely more affectionate he's definitely more affectionate without a doubt he's definitely i mean more i mean i don't Upbringing might have something to do with it. I don't know. My, my dad was real hard on me, too. My mom was a little more affectionate. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. And, you know, she passed away, which I did a video about that as well. So, I don't know. You know, we all got our reasons why we might be seeking affection. And I try. But she don't seek But affection. I love my man. Like, you know, yeah. I feel like it's, I feel like different, at different times, I am. It, I guess it's just, I don't know. I, I guess it's just the different vibes. I don't know what it is, but I, I feel like he's definitely, like, way more. And I feel like it might be a concern to him. Or whatever, but I mean, you know, it's all good sometimes. I'm here, I'm here though. Yeah, so I mean, it's all you, good. I, mean, ain't you. I, I ain't complaining, I ain't complaining. Okay, right, that was a good let's, question. Let's, though. let's go to the next question. All right, so this is from Diamond the Doll. Hey, that's my bad. Shout out to Diamond the Doll, black. Hey, all right, so this, she, she said, You guys have different values because of being raised by different nationalities. Um, yes, naturally we do have different, um, values in a sense. Um, I mean, the upbringings are totally different. Like it totally different. Very, very different. Um, and that's, Absolutely. and that's both not, you know, I'm not just saying it in a bad way. It's both good and bad, but right. I feel like a lot of my ways flow has actually adapted to, which is a good thing because it makes us like, it makes our relationship a lot easier. Like coming up you know in a in a i guess you would say a black family or whatever 
Um, it's just certain morals that we have, certain values that we have that, you know, me coming into his life and his family and being able to experience his family, it's so much different. It's like, we could never get away with that type it, of stuff. Different. I can never talk different. to my dad that way. <laughs> I can never talk to my mom that way. So it's just like, it's different. I, I don't talk to my mom that type of way. Yeah, no, it's not his I mom, can't. but I'm just saying, I, I, you know, I'm just speaking, I, just my mom, period, you know? But yeah. like, it's definitely, um different but it's not difficult it's not difficult because we're able to it's, compromise the two right and he's i feel like he's adapted more so to me and my lifestyle and the way i've come up versus you know the way he's come up because i just feel like i mean it's not a bad thing well honestly i, I will say this i mean i was I mean, did i cut you off no go ahead yeah, i was a real independent person so like it wasn't just about my upbringing that made me who I was. I was always kind of just me, you know what I'm saying? I didn't really follow a lot of people. I was kind of just did my own thing. And because of that, um, I was my own person, you know what I'm saying? So I made a lot of bad choices, you know what I'm saying? I mean, and, you know, I had to learn. I learned the hard way. I learned a lot of lessons. <laughs> you learned a lot. But He's point, very stubborn. But the point is, is that I'm a Taurus. If y'all, if I haven't said that already, so Tauruses are stubborn as part of their, part of their sign. But anyway, um, you know, I feel like she taught me how to, a lot of things how to be a better person. You know, it's just like what it is is that you have to be in a stage in your life where you are able to let someone guide you to be better. You have to want to be a better person and want to be in a better situation. And if you want it bad enough, you'll get there. And she helped. And I, when I met her, I met her at a time where I was willing to compromise and become a better person. Better person. And I don't know if it had anything to do with the uh, back to the question. If it had anything to do with the um, nationality. Or if it was um, just me, just being me, who I was. Well, know, even so. me, like, to get more into just nationality, because, like, I do have a, a very strong um, spiritual background. And he's also, like, you know, been open to that and has adapted to that in a lot of ways. Like, right now, we're doing our um, Feast of Passover and Leavened Bread. He's been doing really good with keeping up with that, making sure we eat our Leavened Bread every day. If you guys know anything about, you know, the Passover Feast of Leavened Bread, um, and how they kept that feast in the Bible, then you know that we we're, it's our law to eat unleavened bread for seven days, um, for all, well, eight days, really. Um, and he's been doing really good with, you know, making sure that we eat every eat that every day. And just, you know, he's very interested in, in keeping that law, keeping just, you know, our laws, period. And he just wants to be a part of it, just, you know, all around. Right. He just right. wants to be a part of it. So yeah. that's, I've yeah. definitely adapted in a lot of ways. I mean, she's adapted me in a lot of ways, too. Um, you know, like, I don't know if it has anything to do with that, but like, as far as the motivation and, and just the work, I mean, she's a hard worker too, but just like the way I do things, we do it together as a team. And a lot of it, I, I mean, you, you taught me a lot of things. We taught each other, so we've adapted to each other. So, yeah. So let's that's go. a good question, though. I yeah, like that, that. That's definitely a good question. But um, back, to, um, let's go to the next question. <laughs> yeah, she got, look, she, she got, she, she, she asked look, another look, question. Look. She, first, she was all like civilized and classy with the question. Then she going to ask us this, y'all. Look, look, look what she asked. She said, Do you guys ever get nasty looks in public? <laughs> oh, I thought she said, I, when you, I read you, that, you I thought, thought she, she said, said, Do you, you ever, guys get ever get nasty in public? <laughs> She, she would ask that. She would ask that. She would definitely ask she might, that. She might already know the answer. Right <laughs> but, but, um, what was it to say? Woo! Um, but okay, yeah, so um, anyway, we also have videos about this as well, but. She asked if. Did you guys ever get nasty looks public? And yes, the answer is yes, straight up. And that comes from every kind of person, every kind of yeah. people, every kind of place we go. I mean, sometimes, it's usually cool. But you know, the okay. thing about me is, and this is before I was even met her, I don't really care what people think. I'm not one of those people who be like, oh, what, what are they? Th I don't really care. You can think whatever you want. That's, that, that ain't hurting me. That's me too. I don't, I don't care. I'm not worried about what you think. I mean, there's certain people I respect. I have a certain respect for, and their opinion matters because I have a certain respect for them. You know what I'm saying? But other than those certain people, I don't care at all what people think. You know what I'm saying? It's not that I don't respect you. It's just that I don't have enough time in my day to worry about what you think. You know what I'm saying? I don't. And if you and people who hate. Cause there's a lot of people hating. That is funny to me. I be wanting to comment and clown y'all for them <laughs> for all that hate and stuff. We but just let y'all. But I just let you have yeah, it had because I'm not gonna give you. I'm not gonna like make you think. I'm not trying to feed in the energy. I don't. I believe in energies, and I'm not trying to like mix our energy. You can just keep the energy over there. Keep that. I'm not gonna mix that with my energy. But anyway, back but to no, no, and yeah. that goes back to the nasty looks in public. People look at it as nasty. I mean, they and, do, but I don't. It don't really make me. I feel like I get nasty looks even without being without him. I I feel like you know. It's, Females, they they're jealous, 
and they'll see me with my blue hair or whatever the case may be and start looking at me crazy i feel like i get that without even being with him but yes being with a, a black woman being with a white man you definitely draw some different attention a different a, a different kind of attention for sure um and i think by now we're used to it but definitely. you know I mean, hey, it's, it I mean, is what it is. Said, I get looks all the time too. I just, I just keep it moving. I don't even meet eye contact with people. My half the time. Yeah, he don't look at nobody. I don't, <laughs> I don't even be. I mean, I, I'm, I'm very he'll aware. See them, but I'm still aware of my yeah, surroundings, but I don't like be staring at people or like, like if you staring at me extra long, I probably won't even know. Cause I don't, I don't. Nah, care. you be no. Even like, fuck, look at that. Like, nah. I mean, sometimes I ain't gonna lie. Like if someone's looking at me aggressive, like it's different. You feel a vibe. Like damn, I'm looking at me crazy like that. But you know what I'm saying. So she said nasty looks. Like it depends. You know what I mean. But for the most part, it just be like awkward. Looks. I mean, to answer the question, if it's a yes or no answer, yes, all the time. Yeah. All right. So let, let's go to the next one. So um, so Miss Melly. Um, she's been showing a lot of love. Appreciate that. Shout but, out to um, Miss Melly. But she said, uh, what's y'all's favorite and least favorite rapper? Hmm, good question. Um, good question. So you go ahead and answer first. I would say um, my favorite rapper right now, right now, that I'm actually listening to is Roddy Rich. My least favorite rapper right now would have to be... Um, I'm not going to lie. I feel like my least favorite rapper would have to be Meg Thee Stallion. Meg Thee I mean, no shade to sis or whatever. She doing her thing and, and shout out to her for that. But I represent woman empowerment. I represent, you know, um, just setting a good, you know, uh, role, being a good role model for women. And I don't feel like she's doing that right now. And I feel like music is a very strong influence on people. And um, especially women, because we're always degraded every day. We're always um, frowned down upon. Um, and women these days have a very bad name, especially black women. We have a very like bad image, you know, um, floating around and, um, yeah, I know it's very annoying and, um, I don't feel like she's helping in that in any kind of way. She's not helping change that reflection around. She's, she's dampening that, um, that image of black women. And I, I mean, her music, like I said, I might bump it one time in the car one time. If it's on, I won't turn it off. But at the same time, I, that's not something that I would let my children listen to. But yeah. Okay, so, I mean, I will just say that I actually think, I mean, I don't want to take away from what she said, but I think she's she's one of the best rappers out right now. I'm going to lie. It's she's, far, it's according far, to people. No, no, no. I'm just, in my opinion, as far as, like, rapping. Because she's rapping. Most of these people aren't really rapping. They're, like, singing. It's cool, good, cool. Look. Cool little melody. <laughs> this hair is getting on my nerves. Cool, cool little melody and everything. But are they rapping? She's right. actually rapping. I ain't gonna lie. So I actually think that she's a good artist. Do I think that she does everything that she said? I kind of see. The message. I kind of, I kind of see what she's saying at that point. But if we're talking about like if she's a good artist, I think she is. But I also get her point too. Um, so that's all I'm gonna say with that. But as far as my answer to the question, um, I mean my least favorite artist right now, I have to say six nine, and he just got. He's not even relevant. How yeah, but he just got released from jail. I know he's gonna come out and be like, oh, with the sticky. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's gonna drop him a record. That motherfucker said with the sticky. He's gonna, come, he gonna drop a record. If he blows up again, because I'm gonna tell you why, why. You gotta understand where I'm coming from. Why do I feel like that? Because my favorite rapper is Tupac, okay? So if my favorite rapper is Tupac, how can I respect someone who was snitching they're gonna come out and drop a song? Oh Lord, people dropping scriptures. You know what I'm saying? So that's the only thing. I ain't gonna go too far into it, but um, but like I said, Tupac. Now, like she said, my favorite like artist right now that's out is Roddy Rich. I like his music. Like you know, he's got some really saying his songs, and he, you know, I feel his vibe in his music. So I rock with it. Um, but as far as like six nine, nah. But did I, I like his music when he was out though? I thought he was rapping too, but you know, he killed me with that. But anyway, let's go to the next question. All right, so. Worldty by me. Um, shout out Worldty by me. So they and said. That's Carmen, right? Yeah. So is it hard for y'all to make time for YouTube? Actually, um, is it? Not really. I mean, it's not it, hard for it's us. It's not really hard for us. Because now well, at this point. Right. It's what's going on right now. Right? It's become a part of our schedule. Yeah. It's like when you want to do something. Um, and you really want to grow, you really want to win, you make it a part of you. Right. And right now, it's almost like second nature to us. But, you know, a lot of times we'll wake up and shoot. It just depends on the situation of the day. But, um, 
but yeah so i mean it's not really hard to make time for it you know we, we just try to make sure that we be consistent with it because we be open to it because like you know that's what we enjoy doing that's what we're doing right now you know we, we do the music as we said earlier and th this is just a platform that we're trying to work on right now because we have fun you know if you don't have fun doing something yeah, like, why, do you, why, why do you why do, you do, do it? it you know y'all like to watch it y'all enjoy viewing it so we're gonna keep it coming and, and also comment below if y'all have any other ideas any kind of videos you really would like to see us do um other than pranks let us know you know we might try something new just give us some suggestions but all right so um here's the next question um nico red what is <coughs> what is your dream vacation oh um, my dream vacation, I love exotic places, just, you know, nice weather, um, water. Um, I would say I really want to go to either Aruba or Bora Bora. That was my dream. That's so bougie, I don't know what that is. <laughs> she said the bougie. most bougie thing in it's the not world. Bougie. That sounds like it's like it's in the middle of Italy or something like that. Like, where, where's that at? And the Caribbeans? Caribbean islands. That's not bougie, boy. That's life. That's that's like that's life. That's real. That's that bougie. Take a picture on the beach, but she won't put me in the picture though. She knows. Oh, you know, know that's a she lie. She over there alone. <laughs> how, how, how come every time a girl goes to Bora Bora? You know Bora, I wouldn't do that. How, how come every time a girl goes to Bora Bora, she's only one Bora there? Bora Bora. <laughs> What's that shit called? She's the only one there. Where's you? Who'd you go with? <laughs> Who you go with? Bora Bora. Yeah. Bora Bora. It's Bora Bora, babe. Okay, well, how come every time he a girl goes Bora to Bora Bora, Bora, she's over there on the beach alone? Who'd she go with? That's all, <laughs> that's all I want to know. Did she go Did she go alone? Don't, don't you ever wonder? Man, her bae wasn't ready for the picture. Her, her bae wasn't like ready for the picture the whole trip. She's just always out there. Look at me. Like, who'd you go with? <laughs> Shut mm -hmm. up. Anyways. So, 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 um, where's my dream vacation? I mean, obviously, I want to go this year. I want to go to the Netherlands, to Amsterdam, because my mom was born in the Netherlands. She's from The Hague. So, I always want to go there. I got family there I never met. They speak English there, most people. So, I'm going to go over there, you know, meet some family. You know, if you know anything about Amsterdam, get down out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we were supposed to go this year. We're going to go, because you don't want to go in the winter time. It's, it's really cold. You know what I mean? Like super cold and I'm, we're from the south of so we ain't going in no cold, you know what I mean? Like that. No, right, we're not gonna enjoy that. We'll be out there like, yo, why are we here? Why are we here? So we're gonna we wanna go this summer, but that got messed up. So maybe next year. Cause traveling outside the country right now is definitely <laughs> not something to do. Anyway, uh so Nika Red, she got another question. What is something you love to do on a daily basis? Um <clears throat> I would have to say really just spend time with each other, spend time with family, our kids, um, watch Netflix, just chill, just relax. Cause yeah. our, our schedules, like our everyday schedules is it's just so grind. like, it's, grind it's so fast paced that we don't even really get time to really just stop and just- I mean, the truth is like, and it's been on there for a while in the life, you know what I mean? Like if you grind and you working towards something, you getting money, you got a lot of different hustles you do. I ain't really a lot of time to do thing on that's what you do on a daily basis that's right what, that's you, what do. you do you shoot <clears throat> get on the camera shoot videos you shoot pictures you, we, we make music we're making music i mix and master you know what i mean we send it out to mix and master I, sometimes <sighs> i do so it's like it's a lot you know what i'm saying it's a lot we do so it's, it is it's definitely that's 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 what we do from a day-to-day -day basis if you want to answer all right so how you say that Sally? Zaline, 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 Zaline. Sorry if we said it wrong, but is there any major struggles being in an interracial couple? Um, not really any major struggles. Um, I mean, I could imagine there would be different struggles, and that goes for any relationships. I mean, I think the biggest struggle you might, you might have, is possibly family. Family. She knew I was gonna say that. That part. I think. I think for me, it was. It, well, the only person that really hasn't met him is my dad, okay? And I know that's gonna be probably one So of obviously she must think that's a major struggle because it she ain't did it yet. <laughs> um, and um, I feel like, but once you get past that family part, like my mom, my grandmother, like a lot, of, all my family pretty much met him, most of my family. And I feel like once you get past that part, then you good. Even with his family too, you know? Um, she is, she's met some of my family. Um, met his dad. My dad, my brother, my sister. Couple his friends. Girl, you tired? Like, I'm good. Okay, so she, so that's that's all she met. Yeah, I mean, so she she didn't meet the rest of my family. So we are gonna see how. I mean, it's gonna be cool though. They wanna meet her. 
and I want to meet. I all really want to go to the Netherlands so I can meet everybody. Oh yeah, and I haven't even met them either, so that's gonna be interesting. And he has some family in um, Ohio. In Ohio, I, we were gonna go up there too this summer when I picked up my son, and um, you know, I don't know what's going on. We're gonna see, but you know, um, that would probably be the biggest struggle as far as, but as far as us, like. I mean, like I said, we don't really get into like people in, in, in the drama. Like people don't like it. Like people on YouTube hating it. Like, and we're just like okay. yeah, we don't really. As far as social media, that don't phase us yeah. not at all. I mean, in real life either. Like, real and, life and, either. and honestly, people will. Like we said in an earlier question, people will give us dirty looks, but people don't come up to us and say nothing. Nobody I mean, honestly, I'm the type of person like when I walk around like. I'm not, I'm not like most friendly person, like smile on your face. Like I'm not fake. I'm just, I'm just chilling. You know what I mean? I'm not. So I, it's just, if you want to come up to me, like I'm not one of those people you just come up to. I mean, some people might, I'm not saying I'm the toughest person in the world, but I'm just saying that like nine times out of 10, people don't just come up to me and just start hating on me in my face. And that's something I had experienced too many times in my life. People be online with it, but yeah, that and, mind. I mean, it's not just me. A lot of times people will just won't come up to somebody, but I we don't have nobody come up to us and just, just being like, yo. I don't like that. Like, you can't do that. I'd be like, not what? I'd be like, okay. That. You can't do that. You don't that. like what? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's not really a thing for us. I don't know if any of you, if y'all experienced something like that, let us know. We want to know the story about that. Let us know below in the comments, but we haven't experienced something like that. But, um, okay, so we're, we're going to go to the next question. So it says, um, KMWP Mommy's World. She said, um, how do you make your relationship work? How do you um, make your relationship? That's a good question. Yeah, a lot of questions. Yeah. Um. That's that's a very that's a question with a lot of answers. We make, <laughs> work. we make it work. Make it work. Like go ahead. You you tell you, you tell. How me. do we make it work? Um. It's just really all about being on the same page, um, having the same goals, being as one. Like I said, as of right now, everything is a schedule. Everything is a schedule. So. As far as how we're functioning with everything, that's how we get everything functioning and moving on a day-to-day -day basis. But as our relationship, most of our relationship is kind of based around that schedule. So it's like, whatever time we do have to spend with each other, we value that time. Um, whether it's, you know, going out for a walk or, you know, um, going out to eat or watching a movie together, smoking out hookah, that's something that we love to do, do together. Um, working on music there's things there's a lot that we have in common that we do too so it's like everything that we do is kind of like on one accord um so I feel like you know that's how we make it work um I mean I mean you know this, this is what it is like first of all you know the question is how do you make your relationship work right what was it how do you make a relationship work well our relationship is like different levels to it like not only obviously do we have the relationship y'all see on camera which is our normal relationship but we also have a business relationship and that means that when it comes to business, like we do business together. Like for example, like you got a lot of married couples and you know, the wife might go to work every day that she got her career, the husband got his career every day. And they, they, they go to work, they're separate, they come home. And that's, and that's normal, ain't nothing wrong, that's just normal. You know, but we're a little different, like we do things together. Like what we do, we do together, you know. We got we, we do the music, we got the YouTube. I mean, the businesses that we, we, we're, we are launching ourselves, that's all, we do it together, so we're partners, you know, in everything. So there's not a lot of time for arguing. Yeah, everybody. Nobody, yeah, we'll have a little disagreement every perfect. now and then. Some, sometimes she be just irking me. I be like, he irks me too, honestly. But but <laughs> we we don't really put a lot. We of value time each other's and energy into that. Yeah, we. You know, you know what it is. I'm sorry, I have to cut you off. Go ahead. No, I was just about to say we respect each other's opinions and um, objections or whatever. We do. We so, talk and we listen to each other. I mean, we're not, we don't always do it perfectly, <laughs> but we try to do it. And it's just, you know what it is, when you're working towards a greater good together and you're a team in that, for you to mess up that relationship is putting a lot on the line. Like for you to slip up and do something you shouldn't do, like it's, it's stupid, you know what I mean? Like and we're, we're both not dumb. We know that we're building something together. So why mess that up? You know what I mean? So. I feel like that's one of the reasons, I mean, that's not the only reason, like, even before me and her were building together and we were just getting together, I still felt very, like, I wanted to be on point with her, you know what I mean? I might have made mistakes with other groups, I wanted to be on point with her, but off rip, me and her were working together in different ways, you know what I'm saying? We, we immediately realized we were both business-minded, naturally, and we came to start doing business together from the beginning. And because of that, we realized we were stronger together than apart. So because of that, that's why we're gonna naturally be together. It's not really, it's just, it just makes sense. So how, making our relationship work, 
that's the question like it's kind of a natural thing for us you know what i'm saying like when we start arguing we we, we naturally tend to unless some people want one up the next one naturally one of us will just be like all right i'm not gonna say nothing yeah it just kind of stops naturally rarely do we keep on going rarely and i don't know it's like because i because i've been in relationships where i've argued argued and so it's I don't know I don't what do any it's a natural it just happened you know like I met somebody who I just don't want to argue with because I care about her a lot and I, you know that's not the only reason but it's just it's our vibes but I care about her a lot so I don't want to argue with her. so okay so we got one more question from mommy's world she said how do y'all keep the flame going go ahead I mean honestly we're very um outgoing <laughs> uh that's i guess i guess that's um the best way i mean y'all see our videos i mean it's it's a flame it'd be on fire <laughs> we're very outgoing we're very um open to new things i guess why would you say that? i mean yeah we 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 just love to just you know um enjoy each other and enjoy each other in, in yeah. every way possible <laughs> so, take it how you want. I, mean, I don't know what to say. I, 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 like, I wouldn't go too deep into it because she. I don't know what you're talking about. I man. mean, it's just really but, just. Well, okay. Well, not not even to just even get to that level of it, but I right, just let's feel like, feel like this. I, I mean, feel when, like when it comes to like. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. There, I I don't I don't know. There's just things about him that like sets me on that turn. Like I don't want to say turn me on because it's just, know, just not that kind of video, but. I don't know there's things about him that 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 are very attractive to me and not fit not not just physically but like you know just mentally um i'm very attracted to his mind i guess i would say um and i guess just the things that he says to me and um I guess I don't know. I guess it's just because the way he's just so into me just kind of makes me. I, I don't know how to explain it. What is it? I don't know. I mean, um, honestly, she's the most beautiful girl in the world. He tells and me that every day. So that right there alone is what gets me going. But, what but when I say that, I mean that. That's how I feel. That's what I really mean. She knows that. So you know, I treat her really special. You know what I mean? And I cherish her. You know, sometimes I'm not. Sometimes we could be arguing about stuff, but nine times out of ten, we ain't. You know what I'm saying? And um, the fire just keeps going, keeps burning. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's one of them, you know them candles that don't go out, you keep trying to blow on it and it just stays on? I mean, we're both, that, I we, feel we like this is what it is too. We got one of them birthday candles that never goes out. This is what it is too. This is what it is too. I feel like our energies and our, our energies are so like uh, unique and compatible that it just never goes out. It just, for some reason, the fire just never goes out. Like. If I'm thinking something, he's thinking it. If I'm like, oh, I wanna, if we're both wanting to turn up, we both want to turn up. Like, if it's not just one person, one person right. is like this and the other person. We're it's very, just like we're, we're always on the same and, you know, wavelength, no matter you know what, what. You know what's crazy is even though we are so different, we're so alike. It's kind of weird. Like, we didn't come up the same way. We did, we did, we into a lot of different things, but for some reason, we just enjoy each other's company. We're never really bored with each other. We always got something to do. And we just have a connection that's very deep. And it's very deep. I don't. It just it's happened. Very deep. I didn't even. It just happened. You know what I'm saying? So that's how we keep the flame going. I hope y'all could find a relationship <laughs> like that. It's I very. Mean, it, oh, it's God. a lucky thing. Everybody sometimes you get lucky in life, and that's what happened. At least that's how I feel. <laughs> and um, so the flame just naturally keeps going. You know what I'm saying? So look, I'm gonna shout out one person, Sway, two times. So he said, "Yo, see yo, tune to my music. I'm hard." So go follow Sway two times, check his music out. But all right, so we, camera's about to die, so we're gonna we gonna I'll go ahead and end this out. All that stuff. <laughs> yeah. So um, appreciate. We thank y'all for the questions. That was If y'all watch till the end, I, yo, that's what's up. Appreciate know. you. Comment below and let it just let us know. I watch till the end. We we appreciate. That. I know it's a long video. Yeah, it's a long video. So make sure y'all subscribe if you haven't already. Leave us a comment, smash the like button, and stay tuned. We're coming back every day. Yeah. We love you guys. On gang. Appreciate all the new subscribers. Yeah. All right. You and I, we all fly When we're together, it's forever, it's a fire Don't care what they say Don't care what they say I love you anyway I love you anyway You're my best friend I put that on 10 The one-on-one -on -one and the one